Welcome in, everybody, back to Goblins and Warlocks. This is the Black Order, and uh, welcome in. Uh, this is episode two. Um, first off, a uh, person who plays Rollo Dan. I don't know where they're at. They have not responded back, so hope thing everything is good. Um, yeah, well, hopefully they'll join in a little bit. Maybe we'll see. That is that being said, we'll just continue on. Um, my name is Jugan. I am the dungeon master for this uh, uh, antagonist campaign. So uh, I'll turn it over to my other fellow streamer here is Nerd Hala. So you would like to shout out your things? Let me get the music started. I totally forgot to do that. I'm Nerd Hala. Uh, I stream on twitch at nerd Holla, or you can find me on instagram at nerd Holla designs i am playing what the warlock all right and uh Sindal? i am sendo i play tunok the orc barbarian i do not stream i'm boring i just moonlight and ride the coattails of other streamers <laughs> All right. Uh, Bookworm. Hi, I'm Bookworm. I'm playing Zanari, our half work bard. Um, I also don't stream, but I am in another campaign with Goblets and Warlocks that streams Friday night. So catch us there. Uh, Chi, who has also done the lovely art for this little group here. Yep. T not currently streaming. We're waiting on that. Uh, the link will be in the description, I believe, where to follow me so you can keep keep yourself updated on that. And I play Laris or Grave Domain Cleric. Proud. Proud. I remember how to say the word. Okay, I'm in the right spot now. I was told that I had two people in the wrong spot, and I did. Alrighty, and uh Jazz. G'day, I am Jazz, not a streamer. Um, I play Sherelle, a half-drow, what am I, monk? <laughs> and I also play on the Friday night stream. Oh, very nice. Uh, again, uh, the Friday night stream is Dragonlance. We played that on uh, Twitch. So the links to the Twitch chat is down in the comments below. Uh, we did reach 400 subscribers on YouTube, so everybody got a, an advantage roll. Um, and you had, we had, I changed up, I said every 20 lights, I'm going to say how many lights there is. So we had a 10 lights, so you all got a D10 to add to any D20 rolls that you can roll. So I uh, gave everybody access to the rewards list today if you did not already have it. And yeah. With that being said, uh, let's just go ahead and get into tonight's uh, episode, shall we?
And welcome back. Uh, Zanari, would you like to take us in tonight's recap in the eyes of your character? Of course. So, previously on the Bad Bat, I mean, sorry, the Black Order, um, <laughs> we each got an invitation to uh, go meet our uh, prestigious leader of the Black Order, since seemingly she had a job for us. So, we all rambled in one by one. And um sort of met each other sort of got a feel for each other and we got a job um where we're basically going to be scaring off these two uh lowly elves i guess or twin i don't know they're twins who have apparently been doing some bad stuff so we are going to go and cause some havoc in their house and uh maybe torture have some fun um, but before we did that, and after uh, we got our mission, we got sent, we decided to just go hit up a tavern, have a good time, and make a plan. So uh, we headed over to Close Inn, who had that had a tavern, got a room, and uh, we all started having dinner and having a chat. While two of our members, Sherelle and uh, Watt, they went and got a uh, another person and brought them into our room and chatted with them about some medallion one of them had found. I'm not really sure what that was about, but after dinner and after they let that person go, they were very tipsy and uh, had very odd thoughts of how they wanted to spend the evening, but uh, sent them on their on their way and we decided that we, uh, yeah, we were going to try and hit up their, this the, the twins' house and uh, so we decided to split the party, which is always a great idea, um, so two of us are going to be sitting watching the house trying to get uh the guards rotations down um two of us are going to go i think go get some uh blueprints maybe of the house and see maybe where uh like what what rooms the twins might be in and what might hold some more people that we need to watch out for whatnot and the other two seems like they're going to be sneaking in and having a little quick look see um and yeah, we were just about to, I think, head off into our separate directions. Um, and that's where we left off last week. Alrighty. Uh, I think I was still at the tavern while you were finishing up these plans and have not left yet. So we'll pick up there. So, as the smart ones, we're going to get... What again? We have to go back. Yeah. To the you and Cheryl, correct. You are going back to headquarters and you are looking through the archives. Looking for uh, blueprints. Official blueprints of the place, correct. Yeah. We can do that. That's easy. Okay. We are counting on you. Okay. Yeah, come on, big then, guy. We can do this. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. And I, I guess I'm going to I had that out. suspiciously. Sure. <laughs> that will go great. All right. And so then who... when some of you make a distraction, Radadan and I will sneak in. Correct. The two of you and me and Sanary are heading out for a map. And to the place once we know where it is. I bought we a map. Will... Okay, you have a map. We will cause a distraction and keep an eye outside while the two of you go in. If you're in trouble, maybe make a big ruckus so we can find you or something. I don't know if that's the last um last resort. That's the one. <laughs> You have uh, yep. what's probably the most important part. So don't mess it up. And just before me and Tunak leave, I'll leave the uh, map with you guys so you don't get lost. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Uh, so basically, two, you and Tunak are going to go to your archives at the... Uh, Black Order headquarters and try to look for some kind of plans for the location. I'm assuming yeah, if, there's... if there is any. Um, and the rest of y'all are heading up to scope out the place pretty much. All right. 
Uh, we'll start out with uh, Tunac and Sorel. So on the way, you can have a little chat if you like. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, your your little kick earlier there. Um, you know hard feelings about that, right? No, I know some people think it's no. unsportmanly or something. No, no, it's good. It's good. Um, where did you learn your your skills and your and your your kickingness? Well, um, didn't grow up in the best part of town. You gotta learn to defend yourself. This this town? Yeah. Cool. So you know where we're going. You know everything here. I mean, kinda. I, I didn't go in that particular district much. Uh, too many gods and stuff. Hmm, I see. What about you? You're a strapping lad or whatever they say? Uh, what are your skills? Um, I... I just, I try to fight and not die. It's a good strategy. Not dying is generally the, the idea. Yeah, it's, um, it's where I'm from. Dying is generally frowned upon. It usually shows that you were not good at fighting and you, you don't deserve a hero or warrior's welcome. Where I'm from, if you die, your stuff is up for grabs, and that's that's not great for anybody. Like, I want to keep my stuff, so that's why I stay alive. That is fair. So I think and it's a left up here. I immediately turn right. <laughs> I guess slowly through many detours make our way back to the headquarters. Honey, I don't know how you're still alive. By the grace of our gods, yes. Sure. He watches over me. Alright, uh, you get back to the headquarters by this late. It's pretty late at night, so um, what are you... Uh, Are you searching? Where are you going? I am Wait. following Sherelle because I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. I am just there to... I just want to say I love how both the people the lowest intelligence is going to look for some plans and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Wait, Sherelle, I thought you were smart, Sherelle. Nope, not, not like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Smartlings, let's go. So you get there, and uh, you probably think, probably like the library or something is probably the best place to go look. So how about you both roll me some in, uh, investigations? Investigation. Neg one, let's go. Oh, that's a five. Well, I've got minus three. Oh, <laughs> I, rolled a 15, I rolled a 12. Credit where it's due. Uh, so uh, as you're looking around... Uh, Tunak, you find a map of Great Chester Port, the one that uh, Sherelle just bought. Sherelle, uh, Sherelle, you didn't find anything of really of use. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sort of looking at the titles and the words on them and just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, uh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I show her the map upside down and say, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I this looks familiar. It. I mean, this isn't what we're looking for, but I just gave Larissa a map, so this will be good in case we can't find a place. Okay. And I just stuff it in my belt so that it's partially sticking out. Good plan. Good plan. Uh. Well, yeah, I guess we should head back because we've had a look around, but we didn't really find anything. So what should we tell the others? Did we... That we, we had a look and we didn't find anything. But did we fail? 
No, it was they, nothing here. Will they beat us for failing? If they try, I'll beat them first. Don't worry, I got you. you you'll help. You'll protect me. If you protect me. You've got it. I hold out my my fist for a fist, fist bump. And I go to high five her fist bump. So I just cover her fist. Like yep. my little portrait. Completely. <laughs> like it overwhelmingly. <laughs> Very nice. As we cut back to the other four, as y'all head up and um, head towards the uh, high district, it takes a little bit. It's going to take a little bit. You have to go two sets of stairs so what would y'all like to do talk about on the way there it's going to be a good probably a couple hour hike so while we head there I'm going to explain to the others okay so those two are probably going to find that they're nothing or the official blueprints due to and I'm pointing to like what and that then are looking for secret passages back doors and where the twins are, so we can get them. Remember that. Is it claiming that I don't care what the others <laughs> actually managed to find? <laughs> because it's not useful anyway. Well, I'm not the best at, like, searching, so to speak, but... I pretty I'm... good. That's good. So you do the searching. I'll do the mm, pretending to be other people. And I change into somebody with longer legs because this hike will take a lot longer if I'm still short. <laughs> you have us rupees. You haven't asked the rest of us. I'm joking, that's out of guy. So. Uh, Zanari, you're with them, right? Yep. I'm just following along, humming a little tune, keeping an eye out for people who might be following us. But that's about it. Just doo -doo 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 -doo. give me a perception check. Very well. Wow, that is a total of four. <laughs> You're in your own little head. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, do you all want to have keep you having another chat on the way, or is there anything else you want to talk about? Or nah, I will probably just like remind them a little of the plan that we just made it. And maybe joke a little with what or like, hey, you're almost as tall as me. <laughs> oh, no one's walking. as tall as you. You have to be the almighty tallest. Yet, I mean, it just fits. You know, flattery will get you to many places. I like you. I like you too. But now let's go. <laughs> Find stuff. <laughs> start looking around i kind of like are there is there anyone around like we're i assume perception. we're passing yeah perception all, all right yeah. it is getting pretty late so there's not many people i mean actually you're <laughs> underground so jeez, y'all <laughs> just killing it tonight yep uh just roll wow okay i rolled a four um I would say while well, you catch a glimpse of a couple people and they exchange a note and they're kind of off into an alley as you're walking. Hmm. Shady dealings going on. That doesn't seem too out of the ordinary for greater support. So let's keep climbing up to where we need to go. Oh, I don't like exercise. All right. So you get past your first set of steps. Now uh, you're headed towards uh, the next set uh, through uh, 
passing the massive arena and you pass like the armory onto the left side that is for the arena as you're cling 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 as you start walking up to the next uh, steps that you know will lead to the noble side on top of the hill or top of the cavern here Anybody want to roll no perception checks? Sure, why not? I'm so good at it. <laughs> Can I assist her with it? Since I'm still sure. looking around. Well, you're probably in your humming your tune still, but yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Still trying to look around, though. So would that be an advantage? Yes, if she's helping you. Okay. Maybe I ruffled her hair when I joked about her being tall and gave her some guidance. <laughs> Are you serious? I got a nat one and a five. Wow. So yeah, this is okay. We get, the, we get the bad rolls out of the way before the combat. So yeah, I'm now thoroughly distracted by Zanari. Maybe maybe, maybe y'all have one too many to drink at the tavern. We'll just roll it with that. Your eyes a little blurry. You're you start really sink in. I did have a full pint. Well, no. All right. Oh. Sonari, is a lovely studio playing. What is it called? Uh, it's called Making My Way Uptown. Do 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 you see, you start seeing the uh, the fancy houses, the more fancier ones. Um, obviously, you see. Let me pull up my map. Gosh, I can just put it up for you guys. Uh, for everybody on stream too, you get up there and. Um, I'm already having a hard enough time paying attention. I drinks are probably. Not recommended if we want to continue making our way to where we're going. Yeah, so you pass the Ghastly Child Tavern, which is on the right, heading into the massive, fancy buildings. Uh, you will come up to two massive buildings. You do know on your map that the Twins Manor is in the back. Uh, it's kind of is right next to the wall caverns. Um, you will could either do start diving through some of the buildings or go up all the way around and come down the main road. You'll pass the Webwells Manor on the right uh, if you go down the main road. What do you want to do? I can party for you. Well, I'd like to steer clear of the Webwell family, if at all possible, so we could go main, or we could go the other route, which would be much, much more preferable to me if we want to stay alive. Sanari, what do you say if we go the main route, approach from the front, be very loud and flashy? Well, you know, we can certainly try. As two drunkards doing... Very wild things somewhere they probably shouldn't be. And the other two sneak the other way. And get in. That might work. What do you think, what? Sounds good. I'll go around the side and try to sneak in. While you guys distract from the front. Alright. Won't see you there. All right. Splitting we'll, the party. Even more. Even further. <laughs> uh, we'll cut back to Tunak and Sorel as y'all start walking back. Now, um, I have... What's it called? Uh, the Feature City Secrets. I can find passages through the urban sprawl 
I can travel between any two locations in the city twice as fast. Mm -hmm. So could me and well, I'm directing to Nak through like Are back alleys. Are you able to do somebody and... with you, or is it just mm -hmm. you? Um, you and companions you lead. Got it. That works. Uh, so how, scrap how you doing that with Tunak. Yes, yeah, so I don't go to the district often, but I do know like a shortcut through uh, Midtown and the Merchant's, mer mer merchants Way. <laughs> don't know how to do that one. Um, I do know shortcuts, so I can get us there pretty quick. It'll probably take the others ages. Let's do it. The speedy way we go. Yeah. All right. And that being said, <laughs> I'm pretty small, so I'm not sure if Tunak will be able to fit through my little hidey holes. <laughs> uh, it's high and low with that. We ain't done high and low yet this campaign. Me or Sherelle? Uh, it's her thing, so... All right, do it. <laughs> Hi! All the time. I got exactly <laughs> 50. How is that possible? Hey, yo. <laughs> you get stuck exactly once. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. Uh, one of the spots you, <laughs> you, you, you get kind of hung up, and it takes a little bit, but you're able to get like through a set of boxes she leads you through. Come on, don't knock those over. The old lady that lives here is real nice. <laughs> hey, okay, there we go. Mind thing. Why don't you there come over? Hey, yo, bat! I, you know, I come through this way all the time. We didn't actually. I know. I yell over. at you every time. Yeah, yeah. Get Ben. I don't know. <laughs> we keep going. Stupid rascals. You keep on going. All right. Uh, you keep on talking. Do you want to have any other conversations on your way there? Uh, at some point, I will tap Sherelle on the shoulder and I go, huh, think fast. And I try to do like a surprise punch at her. I don't when know you if tap I me on the shoulder, first. I'm like, hmm? <laughs> so, go ahead. Do I, do I just roll to hit? Yeah, go yep. ahead. Sweet. All right. I'll use this one. Oh, no, it's a 12. Mm, 15. Oh, damn. <laughs> I guess I... Hmm? Whoa! And I just tumble past her. Oh. What's the matter with you? I'll get you next time. You, you still have one on me. I'll get mine back, though. Yeah, yeah, come on. We're supposed to be doing something. Okay, okay, okay. I just keep I keep walking back behind her and trying to find an opening. All I'm right. keeping more of an eye <laughs> on him. <laughs> Eventually you get up to about where the Ghastly Child Tavern is. Uh you you'll actually you haven't got that far yet. You uh, uh to knock you will pass where the arena forge is. As y'all diving through the back alleys, getting there a lot quicker. Um, again, you hear the clank as they're working away in there. Um, I don't know if you have a PTSD moment or anything. Just let me know. Uh, I do I stop to look room. at it and like kind of just kind of forlorning looking at it. But then I quickly try to catch my way back up with Sherelle. Yeah, since I'm keeping an eye on you, I do notice that you stop, and I don't stop as well. I just sort of slow my stride a little bit, and then I realize what you're looking at, and I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stop for you. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll cut back to... Uh, I'm just going to put Dan on, Dan's character on the NPC mode. Um, which is terrible. Um, a lot you get to cross from the dark, from the back alleys, and you can roll me a stealth check with advantage if you like. Nice. 
Nice. Got 18? 18. Wow, why do I now choose to roll a 19 and an 18? Actually, yeah. The other one didn't do so well. Oh, uh, let me check the stitch. Did they get any pluses for that? No. So, you get up to, as you get diving in the back alleys and looking, you do see a uh, 20-foot high wall, a gate that closes. There is like a guard shack with two guards and two lanterns in front and as you're like trying to hide you s or look out one that kind of looks in your direction and just kind of tries to look for a second swearing they saw something and they keep on gazing by their, their gaze keeps going by uh i try i uh, take a look at Ralitad, turn myself into just generic human number six, <laughs> and uh, start uh, sneaking our way towards the uh, the guards. Well, uh, this is pretty much what you see. Okay. The two, the gate in the front, and then um, as you were described, I think you were described last session that there was a roundabout. Um, okay. You just want to go right up to the guards, or? Uh, actually, instead of turning into generic human number six, I'm going to turn into. Um, the most adorable but forlorn looking child you have ever seen. Okay. Big big puppy dog eyes. And uh I pluck a nose hair and start start making myself cry. Um <laughs> and I'm just like, all right. And I, I toddle up to the guards. Give me a performance check. Fifteen. Fifteen. That's pretty believable. Mm -hmm pretty believable it's like you child what's what do you want what do you... i've lost my mommy and daddy can you help me I'm so lost. piss off you're mean i'm gonna tell the mayor <laughs> what mayor <laughs> Somebody in charge, I'm gonna tell them you're gonna get big trouble. And I, I, I kick him in the shins. <laughs> Roll an attack. Uh, I guess that would be an unarmed strike, which is... I mean, it's... no, Yeah, it's a nine to hit. <laughs> he just moves his leg out of the way and... Does uh twenty hit you? <laughs> as you turn, <laughs> as you, bunch you of child? I mean, you, you yeah. try to kick him and you miss, and you turn around and he kind of shoves you in the back, doing no damage because he just kicks you in the back and shoves you back down the street like you were coming. <laughs> this will not be the end. I will have my revenge. <laughs> And uh, I go <laughs> go back out of line of sight and uh, look at Razan and I'm like, well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll assume you're going up to try to get a better look. Uh, yeah, could I, I guess yeah. I should have made a perception check while I was up there. That's uh, what I thought you were yeah. doing, just trying to get a better look. Well, you saw two guards outside the gate and then mm -hmm. looking through the gate, you saw two more guards like kind of patrolling the uh, the grounds and okay. you saw like uh, uh, four more on top of the balcony above 
above hand. So. Okay. I relay that to to Raladad. All right. So there's guards at the gate, guards patrolling, guards above. Very interesting. Let's we'll see what the other people have to say. How the hell are we gonna get Ted? You're the sneaky one. Do this. <laughs> uh, what is the other two that went up there? Actually, the other two. Give me a perception check. Both of us. Yep. Or one of y'all can roll with advantage. Um. Since uh, Watt and Raladam went through the back ways and y'all went to the main road, you see a f cart full of guards passing you and kind of look like kind of a big rush coming from this location. Like in the, they're in a mad rush for something. My guards went away. Okay. Yeah, a bunch of them. I just, as we pass them by, I'm just going to like wobbles slightly like I, I look like I'm drunk I'm struggling to like actually walk straight and just kind of like lean on center you know like pull her along like You're I'm making not, a lot of it but I'm not saying anything are y'all like now. in the middle of the road or anything you all just kind of like off to the side I'd say we were trying to like be very like flashy we would have probably been in the middle of the road weren't we Let's just yeah. stay second across the entire hey! road. <laughs> Coming through, out of the way. And I just kind of like stumble back. And, they, and shout some nonsense. And they're they're hauling they're hauling ass. And eventually they go down the main road and pass Cheryl and Tunak. Are y'all in the middle of the road? I'm assuming y'all are down through back alleys still. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, but you definitely see them going right down the road too like towards us or like they're exiting out okay yeah like towards y'all but like but y'all not in the middle of the road so but you just see them s speeding out towards and past you yep mm -hmm. what do y'all do us too mm -hmm. yeah mm, wonder what that was about on we go. Okay. Eventually, if you're following the main road, or you, or how y'all, where y'all going? You know, doing the main road or diving through the houses again to get to. That's the up to you. Um, like Sherelle didn't frequent this area, so she might not know as many sneaky ways. I mean, you have the map. You have a second map. Basically, you can dive through the houses the same way that Watt and Raladam oh, went. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can or, do that. Or you take the main road. No, yeah, we'll... I'll tumble through. All right. Let's go. I will Ish. attempt to tumble through. <laughs> uh, crash, give me, crash. Give me stealth chats. Oh. What's my stealth here? 23. 13. Uh, what's your, what's your passive perception? Good question. It is 13. Oh, or, I'm so sorry, passive perception is 11. 11? Okay, you don't notice them, but roll it in. He has a passive perception of 13. And does, you big oof. Fucking quieter. As you roll up on Watt and roll it in. Sorry. Oh, hello again, friends. I pop up on the other side of them and be like, so what'd you find? Ah, where'd you come from? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't find anything useful. There was nothing in that library. We got another map, and that is it. Like, map of the city. That is well, it. We've, got it. we've learned that the gods are assholes to children. Um, I could have told you that. Uh, there's two at the front, uh, two patrolling the courtyard, and four up above on a balcony. Right. Are they heavily armed? Yes. At least I assume so. They hit pretty hard. 
you you saw the uh the guards most of the guards that either have spears or air bow and arrow okay well either archers or spearmen and have you so gone they're not around unarmed the back? have you gone sneaking around the back looking for like a secret ancient entrance or whatever N no care to assist yeah all right let's do this sneak 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 cell checks yep uh that's a dirty 20 18 And again, we'll be going like back ways and. What'd you get, Watt? Dirty 20. Sherelle? 18. 18. Uh, you're able to dive through another, behind another uh, one of the houses, and you're able to go around the side. And as you get there, the, like, the building is kind of like goes right into the cavern. But you can do, you do find a window if you want to try. Sneak in the window. Uh, is see. it locked? Also, is it ground floor? It's a ground floor. I'm assuming you're not going to the second floor. <laughs> is is it locked? I'll give it a little. It's definitely locked. That is beyond my skill set. Actually, it's not. Do I have them though? I don't think I do. Uh, let's see. Anybody's got a hairpin? Uh, boost me up. Let me look through the window. Um, I'm still in. I'm still in child form. <laughs> 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 so I'm peeking, peeking through the window. Uh, do I see anyone? Uh, you do not see anyone currently, but you do see the kitchen area. Mm, it smells like breakfast. It smells like breakfast. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to uh, take my dagger and try and uh, pop the window open as quietly as possible. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check. All right. And could I assist? Are you proficient? Yes. Yes, you can. All Advantage. Right. Twenty-one. Very nice. Uh, it as you try as you're popping the thing, you hear the. <laughs> you realize doing this that you you are going to make noise. It's not like a quiet thing, but you are able to keep opening if you would like to try. I'll give you that option first. Uh. Watch yes. Back, maybe we should get get the others. Okay, we've at least got this window unlocked. Let's come back. Let's let's gather let's gather the others. Yeah. I wouldn't say that you're going to get it unlocked. You're you're basically going to pry it open because it is a dagger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's yeah, unlocked. So like actually, prying it is uh, noisy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I guess we'll quietly head back to the others. Alrighty. We'll cut over to Larice and Zanari. What are y'all doing? Zanari's blackout. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Uh, blackout drunk. Well... <laughs> no, we would have been, like, back. zigzagging around, like, through the middle of the road when, when the guards, like, came rushing by. Um, so we would have probably been making some sort of, like, very noisy, very flashy spectacle in the middle of the road, trying to, like, make sure the guards were looking at these two dumbasses. 
Um, I mean, they see you, but they don't make any. They have a post to stand. They're not going to go all the way out there. And... Yeah, l less them going all the way out here, more than like looking at us or paying more attention to us than like yeah. someone actually s sneakily sneaking in. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if they come back, I will say if I see them, I will kind of like. I would be leaning on Sanary, maybe probably like we're kind of supporting each other. We're too drunk to stand properly on our own. Okay. Try to drag her, uh, to like whatever ally, uh, up ally they're in or something. Okay. Probably do some fake puking noises or something. <laughs> so it's a, so they got some get suspicious on why I suddenly went into an ally. All right. Um, Sanari? Just following her lead? Yep, just letting her drag me along. Okay. Singing a little tavern song, maybe, as we go. You come back to the two knock and roll, then? What would you find? Well, it ends in, you know, a cave, cavern, so we can't really get around the back so much. Uh, but we did pry open a window. So there's that. Whoever does, uh, 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 hopefully we didn't alert anyone because, you know, it's not exactly quiet. All right. Uh... But we figured not do this alone. Just wait for the others. I'll go in at once. Yes, I mean, we're all here. They're all yeah. there. Let's yeah. just... We would be there right yeah. now, probably. Ah. D does anyone know what that uh, uh, big carriage full of full of gods was about? They flew past us on the, on the road up. But you see, the only thing I know about that is that it means there's less guards here and more guards somewhere else. Perhaps mm, we should so... strike tonight directly. Now no, reconnaissance today, striking tomorrow. Just striking tonight. Or we take now. the opportunity while there's less guards. We're here now. Well, there's. Yes. It, it is, tonight would be now, yes. We go well, in, find where the twins are. It's like... Yes. As soon as. Uh... Hmm. Uh, the. All right, we're, we're going to risk it. Um. I'm going to cast. Uh oh. Where did I put my deck? There it is. All right. I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on the guard that kicked me. Or the card that, that shoved first me. First draw, first draw. So I don't know, like, the mechanics of anything that you do, so. Uh, okay. I got oh, the, I got the knight, <laughs> which I gained the service of a level four fighter. Uh, it is also so a changeling. It, so basically, you 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 don't get that. You're using that to cast okay. your spell. Oh, I'm so. using that well, to cast can, the spell. You can choose. You can either use what the card gives you, or you can uh, use it to cast a spell. So yeah, it's it. it's it's one or the other. Oh, that's it's the not curse card that happens automatically. That's not what we've been doing for Fanes, but okay. 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 That's um, how I designed it. Well, I'll okay. use it to cast. Yeah, I'll. I'll use Whatever it to cast. Okay. Yeah, I'll use it to cast the spell. So, that one goes. That one gets used up, and I cast attack thoughts on the guard that that shoved me. All right, what's the wisdom save on it? It's a wisdom, right? 15. Yes, wisdom. Uh, as you're trying to pry in, what's the range of yours? 30 feet. You try to pierce his mind. And you, you, if you, if he succeeds, you just get surface thoughts. Is that what you're trying to, how it works? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I can, I can, hold on, let me pull up the details, because I think I can delve deeper, or, it's the delve deeper for the duration. Uh, I think, I think you get surface thoughts for free, but if you... You initially okay. learn surface thoughts. Yeah, okay. Uh, as an action, I can shift my attention to another creature's or attempt to probe deeper. So on this one, it's just surface thoughts. Okay. So you do, you, you do, there's no save for that one. You just get the surface thoughts, and then if you're trying to pry deeper... Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear... You, you get the surface thoughts, it's like, what is that child? Why the fuck is that here in the middle of the night? And it's like... I wonder what the twins are pissed off about. Why do you send like three quarters of our guard? Huh, they must be very pissed off about something. Eh. That's what you get. Uh, so, uh, so apparently we're in luck. They've sent off three fourths of their guard in that little cart you were talking about. So oh. that means the. Eight that I saw are all we need to take care of to get inside, but they're pissed off about the twins. They're pissed off about something. Let's go in then. Let's get them. I don't know how many three forces, but it sounds like a lot. So well, there would have been a lot more. Let's put it that way. Yes. But they all went off. Uh, they all went off on a guard. They so sent most luck. of them away. So we mm -hmm. strike today, the night, now. Mm -hmm. When there's not as many guards, we don't care that much about the guards anyway. The point is teaching the twins a lesson. So, so they did try and make it public, make it like an example. Mm -hmm. That's right. Doesn't mean we need to take right. guard of, doesn't mean we need to take care of like 40 guards. But you know, so I think the twins see. enough. Could always we set sneak the place in. On fire too. We sneak in, or we uh, yeah, uh, you think? attacking. Attack! I say attack. There's I mean, four above the and window. four on the ground. There's four. There's four on the ground at first, and then there's four above. Mm -hmm. So let's take care of the ones in front first, and then break our way in. The ones at the door should have the keys. Were they, then, they were the ones inside. Uh, did they have ranged weapons? From, from what I understand, they weren't actually inside. They were on a balcony, no? Yes. Hmm. So they'll be able to see us. And they have possibly assist. Correct. They possibly yeah. assist the guards in front if they have ranged attacks. Ranged Powers. weapons. Sorry. How How about who this? wants I'm to be the meat shield? It's a pretty good strategy. What is? No, I mean, he said cowards. No, it, the guards have a pretty good oh. strategy, yes. They send some on the front, and then they have some back with ranged weapons they can use. Well, how about this? I'm not usually super sneaky. I usually like to go for the head-on attack, but we're a little outnumbered here. So how about we sneak in through the back, and we sneak through the house and take out any guards that might be left inside, if there are any. And then we come out on the balcony and we sneaky take out the ranged dudes. And then we can come down into the courtyard. This and they sounds the rest cowardly. Of them. Well, unlike you, I prefer not to die, so. Think of it less as cowardly, cow cowardice, cowardly. And think more of it as we are outnumbered. They have ranged attacks, ranged weapons that we might not be able to defend against. Also cowardly. Yeah, yes. so we're being cowardly if, to cowards, ain't that correct? Like squaring if, it up. If they are being cowards, then we will take advantage of whatever we can. Doesn't mean you don't get to punch them or kick them or whatever you prefer. Chop. Yeah, if like you, you still get the glory of the battle and stuff. You're just coming from the back. Hmm. Interesting. Ra Rallo, Rallo, Dan, Dune, Dan, yeah. Danny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do you off. think? Front? I'll do you like it from the front? 
or do you like it from the back? I mean, I could do both. I'm that talented. I could probably kill the first per. I can probably kill the first person before they even get a chance. See, I'll help with the distraction. And uh, when he's ready to go, I'm gonna hold minor minor illusion until he's like right up on the guards. All right. So we're going. Was... We're going attack, not sneak. I assumed he's sneaking. Sneaking up on the guards. Oh, there he is. He can. Hey. Hey. That's okay. Funny. We'll let him make the decision on what we do. <laughs> Good, because I'm tired of making it. It's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be our common if we, sense, but... <laughs> if we need to distract the guards in order to sneak in, I, I might have a plan for that. I'll I can just, help you, you know, make you make need. a cat or something else in a way. Maybe a possum, a raccoon. I can mention some brightly colored lights, lights maybe. If that helps. I'm not very sneaky either, but I'm also not very flashy. Yeah, we have only agreed that we're striking tonight. Rather than planning and striking tomorrow or something like that. We're striking now. We just need to see how. And we're kind of 50-50, so you need to be the tiebreaker. <laughs> we strike now! No, that's From not... where? From the front <laughs> or sneaking the by... To the, the window! The window! To the window! <laughs> to, to the, the wall! wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. these witches crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's not get coffee. <laughs> oh, Lordy, somebody did it right. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're killing me, Smalls. Alright, so what are y'all doing? Right. I guess we're going We're going to gonna sneak. We're gonna. Are we going to sneak? Okay. Sneaky. Do we want to take out the outside guards as as quietly as possible on our way to sneak, or are we well, just going to sneak? Kind of my specialty, mean, is it not? Can, as a rogue assassin. Wait, can the can the guards on the outside side of like the walls yep. see the guards? That's where y'all were rolling against when y'all went around to the back for the window. Okay. Like, I know there's some on the balcony. I just wasn't sure if they could see the ones outside of yeah, the gate. Yeah, they're hot. Yeah, they can see outside the gate above the walls. Yeah, so that's, taking out that's... any of them first would alert the ones on the balcony. You know, so we go for the balcony by. first. Now it's like a group stealth check, not just uh I hope you stealth. I am, right. I am not stealth at all. That's going to go great. Let's go. We can be sneaky. All right, I'll 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 sneak off. I got a nat 20 oh, shit. for 22. You just right. vanished Roll from a group. existence. Roll a group <laughs> stealth check. Uh, so that's, we all roll? Is that yep. how that is? Yep. Okay. Oh, this is going great, everyone. Oh, no. I hope you all know I have this advantage. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to go Well, great. I rolled a nat 1. Yeah, this ain't going to be ready. We should have discussed this. <laughs> Thirteen. One of them is a natural twenty. And the other one's healthy. Okay, that's a dirty twenty. I did not expect that. All right, Walt, what did you get? You got a twenty-two. I got a twenty-two. To knock. Fifteen. Walt, Dan. Thirteen. Shrill. Eight. Lar Lassery. Laris. Laris. Dirty twenty. Sonari? Uh, not one for a total of four. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, for Wait some it. reason, for some reason, as you're all starting to kind of go around the wall here, trying to dive, you know, Sonari, she's the, t the t uh, song she's been humming, she starts singing out loud. Da, 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 takes the tone. Da, da, da. Hey! Be a little too hey, drunk. The, the, to, the two guards are friends like, hey, where y'all going? Can't go back there. Oh, shit. Let's kill him. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> slash, 
Like, put my I'm arm still around the child, the by the way. So they oh, no. see the child among them. Yeah. God, I'm gonna hey, put my arm yeah, around Sonari's shoulders and be like, is that not the bathroom? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm gonna pull out a dagger and start running at him like Chucky. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, everybody roll initiative. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, y'all. Well, at least we tried. It was me too. It was me too. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I didn't roll so well on this thing, so I didn't expect that. Where's my yeah. There That's my dump stat, you all. This is definitely what I get for uh, <laughs> not being here. <laughs> all right, Zonari, so what'd you get? Listen, we're, just, we're just doing the 18. thing that I said we were going to do. We're just going to go through the mm. front door. The non-cowardly way. Larice? 18. 18 also? Nice. All this debate for nothing. Uh, Sorrel? Uh, uh, 16. At least we tried. <laughs> did we? <laughs> roll it in. 11. You did roll with advantage, didn't you? I did. Wow. I got a six. <laughs> wow. Two knock. Uh, eight. <laughs> Y'all doing wonderfully. And then what? Yeah. That's a fifteen. Can you get the bad rolls out now? That's what, what we've been saying. We've been that it's all been day. Bad you wasn't here for all the bad yeah. rolls. <laughs> we said we said that before. We said that like rolling the. Recap right. thing, and we've been saying that since <laughs> every single roll. I just love the imagery of this um, initiative order, though, because what is the instigator? And <laughs> she's running Chucky style, <laughs> and then three people just dung, dung, dung in front of her. <laughs> All right, uh, Lassery, you're up first, though. Larice, yeah. Larice, Larice. It's gonna take, like, like, take me like five episodes before I get it right. All right. Isn't that it's like Larry. Larry. It's, it's like Larry. Larry. No, no, I'm talking about for me to get it right. It's it's fine. It happens every time I play with you. Tunok will not get it right the entire <laughs> campaign. Oh my god. So is it, it Larice? Okay. Larice. Yeah, Larice. Yes. Like Larry. Right. All right. Larice, yeah, you're up like first. At the end. You keep saying okay. like Lassier or something. Yeah. <laughs> I said Larisse. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, so time. I have a question I should have probably asked you before. If I were to want to pull out something from the robe thing, the item I got, yeah. what would that take like during combat? Would that be like an action? It, sh it should say it as an action. It oh, should say in the item. Hold on. Okay. And I think I'm going to do that, yeah. What okay. What are you pulling out? Yeah, I'm going to reach. Uh, so you will still have to reach like to the inside of her coat that she's wearing, and she pulls out a patch. And as her hands comes out, uh, what comes out is a dog <laughs> mastiff. A dog. It's a mastiff. Mastiff. A mastiff. Is that how yeah. you say that? Mastiff. mastiff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's coming out of there. This, uh, what does your, uh, uh, Mastiff look like? That's a good question, dude. I don't know much <laughs> about Mastiffs. It's probably the most generic thing. I mean, it's a dog. Right. It has uh, ears. <laughs> and four legs. Uh, and it's does it have a does it have like, a crop tail? Uh, a little tail or a big waggy tail? Nah, it's a big waggy one. Yeah, like that. yeah. And you can see it has like a little bag, backpack bag, something where you could let put put stuff there, and like a little collar. But you can probably you can't see if it has a name or anything on it right now. They they just pull it out in like less than seven, six seconds. All right, uh, where, so I have him go right after you, so okay. do you, do you have yeah. it in your extras? I'm assuming you're going to keep him there or what? Uh, 
I thought you were going to pull out one of your ladders to climb the wall with. That's what I was predicting. Not to... <laughs> now, now we are we are committing to the fight. <laughs> I could have done that, but we are committing to the fight. Um, and let me real quick. If you if you're using your action to do something else, you can't. Can you, you still have a bonus action? Bonus, bonus? You you have a bonus action as long as it says bonus action. Okay. Like your healing words are bonus actions. Yeah. So and it's not you're not casting a spell with it, you're just pulling it off, so you can still cast a level spell if it's a bonus action. But you okay. saw so you have your movement. Yeah. Um mm, 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 hold on. Okay. I am going to cast the spell as a bonus action. I'm gonna cast my healing aura. Uh, so that will make it so everyone with, yeah, up to eight creatures. So everyone and the, the master included, uh, 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 uh master, I'm uh, included in a 10 foot radius sphere around me will regain 1d4 hit points every round for the duration of the spell. That's concentration. It is which one? Hmm? Which it, one? That's the healing aura. I'm gonna oh, cast yeah. it. So it's gonna Cause... be a 10 foot around me. If anyone gets hurt every turn, every round. I don't know. It's a 10 foot aura. So it's basically yeah. this. And it says every round. I'm not sure if it's like at the end of the round. It doesn't really say if it's. It's probably on their turn, they get the 1d4. Yeah, yeah just, just as soon as every they round, so like... Yeah, probably when they start to turn in your aura. Okay. We'll rule that for, for right now. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And also... Do you want to move? That... Hold on. Do you want to move? Okay. Um, I just... Is everyone, everyone right now is within the 10 feet around me? No, not everybody, no. Right now it's your... It's two knock... Uh, Sorrel and your faithful hound. Okay. I will move forward slightly. I want to make sure that the people who might be going in the front and getting more likely to be hit are within them. So you want to move in the back? I mean... Like forward a little. So like if someone moves ahead oh, and they get hurt. Try, so you want to get uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be just awesome. use a head and I didn't want her to be hurt. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Sonari. All right. Am I within 60 feet of that guard that's closest to the group? Yes. Cool. I'm going to just go ahead and cast Vicious Mockery on him. So he's got to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving what throw. What do you say? <laughs> I go, ooh, ooh, sugar. That sword with that armor? Are you sure? She, You're going to poke somebody's eye out. Oh, so he takes... Let's see. He takes four damage. Four damage? Yep. So he has disadvantage on something. Yes, he has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end some, of its turn. Let's get some better... Uh, get some better music here. Did you get that message? Which one? Uh, can't see it on YouTube. Yeah. The, our, our figures. You're about to be. They about to see him because y'all about to be running in. I can't really move my camera anymore, so it's kind of a big location. All right, everybody's running a little bit slow over here. All right, all right, you did that. Uh, is that it? Mm. They had disadvantage uh, on something. Yeah, disadvantage on their next attack. Got roll it. before the end of their turn and i will go ahead and inspire somebody 
Okay. <laughs> Everything's changing. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Hold on, sorry. Uh, I'll go ahead and inspire Shirelle. Let's see. Is that a D6? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Make sure D6. Mm. Alrighty. This range is yep. on the disguise. Combo. Alrighty. Um, these guys are going to hold their actions. Uh, so real. Uh, you begin your turn in the aura. Yeah, I haven't lost any any health. That's all good. Um, I thought it was temp health. Is that okay? Oh, is it healing or is it temp HP? What? No. So Not it what, is sorry. healing, and then okay. if you get healed, you do get temporary HP as well as the healing. Yeah, Both the caster and the person getting healed. All right. So it's one d four temp HP. No, when you get healed. No, it's it's healing. Oh, I understand. I understand. Yep. Uh, you're running up. I'm assuming and punching punchy. I suppose. All right, we're doing it this way. Let's go. And I'll uh, run forward thirty feet. Get right up to his face. Nice. Um. Yeah, I'll just. Sock him one one side of the face. Sock him other side of the face. Roll your attacks. Eighteen on the first one. Eighteen hits. Uh, eight damage. How would you like to kill him? Woohoo! Uh, jeez. <laughs> um, I didn't think this would be a kill shot, but <laughs> I just sock him in the jaw, similar to how I socked Tunak in the jaw earlier this evening. But instead of uh, him just, you know, falling backwards, I punch his jaw completely off. Okay. Uh, so... Holy shit. It's an Ari's look on her face just better. <laughs> he is dead. And I go, oh, okay. And I'll bonus action, um, de -de -de -de, what is it, the de -de step of the wind. I'll take the dash action as a bonus action and run the rest of the way over to the other god. Got it. Oh, what the fuck? We're under attack, you assholes. All right. Is that your turn? Wanna dance, pretty boy? All right, uh, Watts, you're running up as a, a little Chucky kid, and you see Surreal just run past you, clock to the dude, and you see a jaw like laying down on the ground as the dude just drops. But the one that kicked you in the back is the one by the guard shack. You muted yourself on Zoom. I'm gonna go for the one that uh, that that shoved me. Right. You go right there where she's at. It's a 23 to hit. That hits. For four damage. Woohoo, four damage. Just stab him right in the, sh like, right where the neck and the shoulder meet. <laughs> and just leave the dagger there and drop to the secure. ground. <laughs> yep. Run up, jump, stab, drop. <laughs> Run up. Uh, you imagine you use his knee to jump up and stab and then drop down. Yep. <sighs> he pulls it out and throws it on the ground. <sighs> Stupid kid. I knew I should have killed you. Uh, I'm just going to take his uh, spear. Try to hit you with a... Oh, that's not your stat block, is it there, bud? All right, uh, un unnatural 20. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. Oh, minimum damage. You take two points 
<laughs> uh, piercing damage. As that one goes there, and the other one, these guys start running up. They have... I just realized my movement speed is 40 feet. Don't let me forget that. I'm a monk. Mm-hmm. I'll remind you. Everybody else is there holding actions. They run up there. Actually, they're going to open the gate with their action. Perfect. Oh, hey, thanks for opening the gate for us, idiot. That was to the guards, not to you, June. <laughs> You're playing right into our hands. Almost as much as They're going to have to save their friend. Come on now. Uh, well, if that's the case, one opens the gate. The other one's going to hurl their spear at uh, one of y'all. Let's see. I don't think. Uh, Her the spur. Does a 13 hit you, Watt? A 13? It just hits. Minimal damage again. I'm setting you to the side. So that's another two points of piercing damage as this uh, spear comes hurling at you and hits you in the side. Blood starts spearing out your side. Hey, you really throwing shit at a kid? You're not very nice. I'll stabbed our friend in the neck. What I mean, Roladan, you're up. Wait, where's thirty feet for me? About thirty feet is about right there. All right, <laughs> throw my dagger at the dude that's closest to me. You have a hand crossbow. How come I'm not showing my crossbow in my inventory? You probably don't have it equipped. Shit. Your backpack, yeah, you maybe? You, you don't have it equipped, yeah. Ah! <sighs> well. <laughs> so equip it. <laughs> ah. All right. Well, let me... That's a terrible thing to have to try to equip in, in mid-attack there. Well, I mean, it would have been equipped. Um... All right, manage, man, crossbow, right? Yep. Uh, you also have to attune to it, so it would have been attuned. All right, uh, just refresh your page. I did it for you. Okay, appreciate it. You. You're a lot faster than me with this. I awesome. have to have your character sheet open because you wasn't here, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. True. This is true. Daddy duty's called. Uh, all right. Here we're going. Uh, going to go ahead and use my crossbow. All right. Does an 11 hit? No, it does not. It goes right into the guard shack, into the darkness of the guard shack. It's just the cro you release this crossbow boat and just misses. Anything else? That's it for now. You do have your bonus action. I know. I know. It's okay. it's right there. I'm waiting for the other guy to come through first. All right. Uh, to knock, you're up. All right. I'll run up 30 feet. You're about right where uh, Dan, Rella Dan's character is. Uh, do I see that the gate is open? Yes. Okay. You saw the, I open will, the gate. I will use my action. No. Use your ah. action. Oh. No, I was I was gonna use my action to move up there as well, but yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. I use my action to run up there as well. You want to go through the gate? If the gate is open, I will go by, and as I look past the gore of the jaw being punched off someone's face. Well, there's two I people will... right in the gate. You want to stop right in front of them? Because that's 20 yes. feet. Yes, I will stop right in front of them. And I'll just look back 
at Sherelle and be like, Holy shit, you're strong. I wink at you. Uh, and yeah, I will wait there then. All right, uh, top of the round, Larice. Uh, yeah, real quick, I did, I didn't, but I don't think you saw it. Uh, we said the mastiff would go after me. It didn't go last round. Yeah, I saw we it. We skipped over it. All right, we'll so just you say you brought it out, and uh, now it can go after you this time. Okay. That's okay for me. It should have yeah. two attacks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do more than me. All right, you're so, up. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, so first I'm going to move up. Uh, my full movement is 30 feet. So as close okay. as I can get to them, yeah. The 30 feet I can. <sighs> yeah, all the ones that are like right now with the cars right there, because yep. you're in the area. New all right. And so, would I? Hold on, it's a bit hard to see with so many minis. Uh, I would be able to attack them. I would be within melee range of the car myself, uh, or am I just you're behind right, you're, everyone you're, else? You're, you're right behind Watt. You're the one with the blue circle around you. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have the concentration known in you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, trying Zanario to see if I could. Deck. Has, has this card been hit? Yes. Yet? Okay. And I'm just going to use my action. Yes, uh, it has a dagger sick in okay. out of the neck. Okay. I was gonna use my action to cast uh Dolph Death Cantrip on him. Wisdom save? Uh yes, that is a wisdom saving throw. Uh DC. You got a natural in... twenty. Never mind, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds good. Alright. Uh you're uh mm. Mastiff? Yeah. Uh so the Mastiff will also move up. Uh, it has 40 feet of movement. 40 gets right behind uh, Surreal. Okay. So, uh, dog! You did see me pull, out, pull the dog out of my coat. Yeah. I have a moment ago. Um, so if it's right behind her, it probably wouldn't be able to try to bite the guard? No, probably not. You can take this... Uh, action to dash to get up there for next round. Yeah. How about this? Since we didn't even get the last round, let him get in range. So go ahead and roll your attack on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. So he doesn't get to attack. He just got up to in the face to attack. Okay. Yeah. Let me just use my actual dice because I don't have a character sheet for it. That's that's a twenty-one to hit. Yeah, that hits. Lovely. Let me. All to this thing. That's four piercing damage. And if it's still alive, it must do a strength saving throw. Uh, DC 11. Yeah, 17. Okay. And so, that will be it. It doesn't have a second attack. So As as uh, your dog runs out, bites it, blood splattering all down the arm. He is barely standing. Is that your turn? Yep. Sarnari, Sarnari. You're off right. camera, but are you going up? I'm yeah, I'm gonna move up next to um, Roladan. I think that's thirty feet. Yeah, about right there. All right, cool. I'm gonna turn to him real quick and be like, "You want to start taking care of the folks up on the balcony?" Sounds good to me. All right. And then I cast invisibility on him. And I'm going to tell him, that goes away once you attack somebody, so just take care. Thank you much. All right. 
You're concentrating on that. Yep. Got okay, ready. And that's my turn. All right. These guys. Uh. Yeah, they're gonna make uh, the archers up top. It's gonna make. Uh, an attack on the one coming through the big oaf coming through the gate. Cowards. Uh, I'm assuming a 10 misses. Oh, just barely. Second one. Uh, 12. Oh, that hits. Uh, other one. Uh, that is a natural 12 for an 18. Oh, shit. And a natural 18. So three of them hit. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I've been rolling shitty with these dice all night, so. Do you have an armor defense? As Eight? barbarian? I do. 16. So that's your dex plus your... Say, si you take 16 points, so 16 points of piercing damage all together. Yeah, my AC is still... Uh, only 11 because I have a minus yeah. one in dexterity. <laughs> Fair. Okay. <laughs> and they'll use the bonus Looks action bodies. to do 13 more points of damage. So how much was it total? Sorry. 13 plus. Uh, 13 was the. Uh, 16 on the day. first one. 16 then plus 13 more. Oh. <gasps> 29. Jugan. Jugan. What? what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Why is your AC so low? Oh my god. You're... Are you trying to kill us? <laughs> if you're a heart and you're within 10 feet of Surreal. me, remember that on your turn you get healed by 1d4 <laughs> oh, yeah. and one uh, temporary yeah, hit you, point. Yeah, you. Uh, no, wait. It's the start of their turn, so... Oh, yeah, it's not his turn yet. Yeah, Sorry. if they're hurt and they're within yeah. the damn feet, then when it gets to their turn... Sorrel, you're up. Yep. Um, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to grab this guy's face and smash it into the guardhouse. You got Ooh, it. Nice. Ooh, that's a 12. 12 misses. Yep. As he's shaking the dog off his arm, he jerks it out of the way, and as you will go to grab his face, and you just miss. Mm. You had bardic inspiration, I think. Almost the end of I the did. Uh, I think I have to roll that before it's announced if it passes or not. Cool. Um, Do you? Because, uh... I thought rain, you did. Yeah. Rain, so Usually it's... Cause... Once you roll, but before you know if it succeeds or fails. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Alright. Then I'll bonus action on Struck and try again. Only this time I'm going to try and backhand him because I'm annoyed. 21. 21. Yeah, 21 hits. 8 damage. You got it. How are you killing this one? Oh Backhand. My God. Poof. Where I tried to smash him into the guardhouse. I, motherfucker, backhand and like... He spins into the guardhouse, so I smash him into the guardhouse anyway. Very nice. All right, uh, we now come to what? Are you staying there? Are you moving? What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna stay no, where I'm. Surreal, surreal. You staying right there? Oh, sorry. I will stay. I forgot surreal has movement. Uh, is you gonna stay right there? All right. Uh, now go ahead. What? Sorry. All right. I uh, since I have two weapon fighting, I'm going to throw two cards. Uh, oh, yes. yes. So do I? Do I need to roll for that? Because it's just deadly deal as an action. You use a card to make a ranged spell attack. Or do isn't, I just roll this? Isn't it roll, part of like roll your for actions? a spell attack? No, it doesn't show up in actions. It's part Let's of the see. card sharps. It's it's a feature of the card sharps. So I guess I would just a range spell attack. So I guess I would roll twice. Yeah, for it's a range, range spell, spell attack. That's what it says. Okay. The, the first one's a twenty-six, and at the other guy, because I throw one at each, that's an eighteen. Are you aiming the ones in the courtyard? Uh, the ones, yeah, 
The okay. ones just one's inside the gate. the gate. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're each going to take a D8 of force damage. What'd you, um, one was a 20 what? Six. 26. Well, they both were 26? 26 and an 18. Okay, they both hit. That's why I'll just verify. Okay. Yep. So, first one takes seven damage. Got it. Second one takes one. <laughs> so, the first one, it hits him right in the chest. The blood starts pouring out of the... Uh, through the uh, leather armor that he has. And the other one kind of slices the face a little bit. All right. And I'm going to hold my ground. You got it. Uh, dead, dead. This one in front is going to make... Well, the one that's in the gate, the only one they can get to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. You know who it is. A, a 10? No. And then uh, this one will hit for 12? That hits. <laughs> that hits. All right. Oh, max damage. Nine. Oh. Take nine points of piercing damage as the spear comes right into your side. Don't forget uh. you also heal because, or nope, wrong turn. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, no, it has to be his turn. I'm so sorry. It's wrong on whose turn it is. I'm sorry. You know what would have been good? If I had, if I had raged before all of this. Yeah, yeah. Roll it in. You're up. Would have been a good idea. Definitely would have been good to rage before that. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move up towards the gates uh, just to try to get past uh, all of this hoopla that's going on using that invisibility to my advantage. All right. Uh, what's your movement? Uh, 30. Is it 30 or 35? Uh, for sure it's 30. I think, actually, I think that's what else. Get you right past the guards. Perfect. <laughs> right in with, within earshot of, you know, using my bow to get the guy up and, uh, on the balcony. Yeah. Um, but when I'm, so if I'm, if I'm going for my bonus action and uh, if I were to try to go to teleport, I can't teleport upwards towards the actual guard, right? Anywhere you can see. Anywhere I can see. Ooh. Is he at about 30 feet? Huh? Is he at about 30 feet? Let's do it. You have to, but it's like the edge of the arch. Let's do it. Uh, so it, it, you lose your invisibility for doing it, though. Yep. If I can get it off your character before I break it. So the whole intent was for me to get to the guards. Yep. All right, you get up there. Yep, blessings of the Raven Queen. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, dagger strike to the back of the neck. All right. Did you get my messenger? I uh, texted you. I did not. Yeah, I texted you. I was asking if you want to change it from the Raven Queen to some, something else. 17 hit. 17 does hit. Sweet. These guys over here. Uh, eight damage. Very nice. They were holding an action for anything that got close, so they're going to make an attack on you. Yo. I'm assuming a 11 misses. Oh, by far. Uh, and then a 19. That hits. Yep. I shouldn't have spoke. Uh, that is Matt's damage for nine points of piercing damage. Gross. Ouch. All right. Uh, two knock. It's your turn. You're in the aura. I'm in the aura. Yeah. So I get, I get, yeah. how much it's, do I get? It's, 
it's 24 healing and then one temporary hit point. And one temporary hit point. That's great. Four. Ooh. Very nice. So you get four health back and one temporary hit point. Great. All right. With my bonus action, I will rage. You will rage. Finally. All right. <laughs> Having three arrows sticking out of me and a freaking sword cutting into me, bleeding all over. I... And like three spears poking out of your head. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah, he gets like a paper cut healed. Well, I mean, they're holding the spears in their hands. So they're jabbing at them. So they're holding the spears. They throw them at them. So the the one, the spear guy who actually hit me, uh, I'm going to take my great sword. Was that the one? Yeah. I'll take my uh, great axe and attack him. Got it. Oh, they're both 23. Hit. You talking about the I thought one, one of the yeah, one of them hit you. So, we're trying... yeah. yeah, so uh, yeah, that hits 23 definitely hits. All right, they take uh 16 points of slashing damage plus the uh 14 plus two at the right. Oh, you want to kill and... him? Oh, I will, or her. This a her, so whatever. I will slash across, attempting to do the shrill. But instead, I take off the whole head instead of just the jaw. As you slice clean through the neck, the head pops off and rolls on the ground, blood splattering everywhere. And I cheer and just look to the other spear guy, like a crazy, rage-filled smile. Mm -hmm. And doached in blood, most of it my own. Nice. That's that all I turn? can do. Is that your turn? Nice. Yeah. Larice. You muted on. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. And Zonari on deck. Uh, real quick, so would there be a guard left still where we are? There's one. Yeah, there's one, there's one more in the doorway, yes. Okay. Um... Gonna be nice. Uh, I'm still within five. I'm within five feet of Tuna myself. Yes. No, you're you're like ten feet from him. Yeah. I'm gonna move just slightly closer so I can pat him in the arm. You got it. And as my main action, I'm just gonna cast Cure Wounds on him. Yep. That's. What does this look like when you cast it? You're gonna get okay. So, uh, with that, if one hand she reaches up to like the necklace pendant thing she has around her neck, mm -hmm. she like puts her hand over it, and you can see it. It almost looks like it's kind of may may maybe glows a little bit. Yeah. And then like she reaches out with her other hand, pat him in the arm. Good job, Pitai. Good job. Sorry, and you turn. get seven hit points back. Yay! Thank you. Not much, but it is at something. And your, uh, your hound? Yeah, so that's my turn. And then uh, the Mastiff will move closer too. And it's going to attack. A, a nine probably doesn't hit. That's it. A nine does not hit, no. Expect this much, and it only has one attack. So it runs up and That's... jumps up and gets batted out of air with a shield. Yeah, that will be it. It's a Nari. Yep. Um, I'm gonna drop concentration. I'm assuming because there's no point. Yep. And am I thirty feet to the gate? Move 30 feet, you're saying? Yeah. You get pretty much just inside the gate. Right, and you said there was still a guard alive there? Yeah. All right. I'm going to... You gonna... have two knock and the, the hound in between you. All right. 
I'm gonna try and throw a dagger at them then. You got it. Here you go. Does an eleven hit? <laughs> no, it does not. They get the shield up after a bash to block your dagger. <sighs> then. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I guess I'm going to inspire. Um, I'll inspire Watt as well. So, right. Watt, you get a 1d6. And that'll be my turn. By the way, uh, roll it in. Um, that nine points would be half to uh, five because of your blessing. Yeah, I remember. Alrighty, uh, is that your turn, Zanari? All right. Yep. Zanari, what? Give me, what is your passive perception? Eleven. Nice. Uh, you see the archer to the right with the red hair and the green base. Mm. Look at you. Mm. It was starting to aim at you and then turn there and shoot the other guard. All right. Nice. The arrow goes in the back of the other guard, and the guard dies. Right in front of you, two knock. Good shot. And he's like, and he's going to take a second shot. Uh, miss the other shot. I think. Do a check. Yeah, miss. Uh, he's gonna turn over and shoot at the other archer and completely miss. Like, Not as nice the? shot. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, the looks other one like we got it. one of the arch. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, the other one's gonna turn and look at him. Uh, the first one misses. The second one does hit. Second thing, so that is six, that's 12, uh, 15 points of damage into that one. The one that was just shot your one of your guards, one of the guards. It's like, what are you doing? What? Uh, actually, Roland Empire will hear that. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you? So, Shrill. Sorry, your turn. I don't think you've taken any damage, though, so. Mm -mm. Yishrael was making eyes at the one, but got an arrow through the back of the neck, so. Oh, okay. And um, I guess I'm going to action dash, so I get 80 feet of movement. Will that get me anywhere near the balcony? Uh, There's no actual... Uh... Way up? There's there is uh, stairs, but they go into the building. If I bonus action step of the wind to do dash, would I be able to use my action to try and jump from the stairs onto the balcony? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, give me an athletics check. Mm -hmm. Natural 20. Right. Total of 23. Which one do you want to go after? This is one who was shooting the other guards. So he's... Uh, I'll go for a different one, yeah. You want to go for this one over here? Yep. Yeah, 29. Come up here and jump over. There you go. <sighs> Lot, you're up. All right. From where can I see the two archers from where I'm at? 
You can see the two archers. You can see them all. They're over there. Okay. The uh, I'm going to aim for the archers uh, and throw two cards. Uh, it's got a range of 120 feet, so. Well, one of the archers shot one of the, the other guards, so you going to throw one at that one, too? Oh, they shot their own guards. Yeah, this one over here. Oh. Shot uh, the guard in front of by the gate. Then them. no, I will not shoot the one that I will not shoot Mr. Friendly Fire, um, and we'll just throw two at the other arch at the other archer. So that's two range spell attacks. What's the range on those, by the way? Hundred and twenty feet. Oh, nice. Nine. Uh, first one's a nine, so that's gonna miss. Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen misses too. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm going to. It just goes overhead. Both of them do. Uh, just triple checking everything. Nope, that's it. I'm just holding my ground where I'm at. All right, yeah, this one died. Uh, roll it in. You're going to be on deck to just start thinking about what you want to do. Uh, these guys are going to turn around and just attack you since you're up there. Roll it in. So. You mean Sherelle? No, roll it in. Because he oh. teleported up there. Oh. I don't know if you saw that or not, but six misses <laughs> and an eight misses. So I rolled terribly for that. So they turn with the spirits trying to stab at you and they completely miss. You're upset. Uh, your turn, roll it in. Roll it in, roll it in, whatever the hell you want to say. It. Roll it in. Roll it in. Roll it in. I mean, it's Thank not, you, a, then you're learning to not as hard as Larissa, I guess. <laughs> Larissa. Uh, so, as, uh, that hard? as I see Zanari come around the corner and I'm, I'm up top and. Uh, up top, I go, you see thanks. Uh, and then uh, I, I look over to Sherelle and I go, nice of you to join me. <laughs> and I go to stab him with my dagger again. You got it. Nine. Nine misses. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my lord. Um, huh? I think that's it for me. All right. To knock. All right. Quick question. I know that the the guy in front of me had a spear, right? Yeah. Does it cost anything for me to pick up his spear? Bonus action to pick up. Bonus action. Okay. Uh, I will bonus Technically action. Technically supposed to be an action, but no, I'm just going to say a bonus action to pick it up. Thank you. All right. Bonus action. I'll pick up his spear. And try to throw it at the one, at the closest one on the balcony. I don't know if All that'll right. be. Uh, uh, so it's, it's uh, further than twenty feet, so it'd be with disadvantage. With disadvantage, okay. Yeah, so maximum is sixty. So between 60, twenty and sixty is disadvantage. Okay. So remember, you get a d four of healing again. Oh. Oh. Well, I. <laughs> I did a uh, crit Was fail, that that so. one? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, Take your healing quickly. Yep. I, st I got one. I uh, throw it into my own foot. They're, they're going to... Uh, uh, actually, no. I roll another attack. Oh, shit. Just Actually, regular? no, 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 I'm sorry. Just roll the damage, which is going to be a, a D6. D6 plus anything, or? It's supposed to be plus your uh, strength, so. So plus fire. three. Uh, one. So uh, four total. Four? Uh, roll it down, you take four damage as <laughs> the spear comes over to a balcony right between both of them and hits you in the shoulder. Dude, what the hell, dude? Oh, <laughs> how did you get up there? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I teleported up here, good guy. I don't know what that means. And I just run 30 feet close Towards to the stairs on the right. 
On the right or the left? Uh, the right. Yeah, that one. I'm cutting them off. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, Top of the round, Larice. Okay, I am running in. I don't trust myself to be very far away from tonight. Not gonna lie. I'm going to be too far away from him. Just want to follow him. Uh, yeah, I want to follow him. Try to keep him within the range of my aura if I can get close, right. like as close as I can get. There you go. And so, how far away is the people on the balcony from me? Uh, they're about about thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go pull up my crossbow. Well, pull up. I already have it. I'm gonna use my crossbow. All right. Scenario on deck. There's only there's only one of them now. Or uh, they, there's, or there two? there's still there's four total. One is just kind of helping you guys out. Okay. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Clarifying uh, question: That four damage was to me. Huh? Clarifying yeah. question: That four damage was to me. Yeah. Because you rolled a nat one. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many of me? So one of them was hurt already, right? One of the guards. Yeah. Well, would your character me? have known which one? Uh, I mean, I would have probably seen if someone like actively attacked while I was running towards Tuna. I probably would have noticed, but like, no, if that, I would just one... shoot a random one. Uh, the only one you probably can gather is probably might be hurt is the one in front of uh, Rolian because they're actively fighting each other. I'll shoot that one then. Okay. Try to get it off my. Don't roll that one. Hello. Uh, hopefully not. A nine misses. Okay. That's so that's nine okay. of bad rolls all around. Yeah. I am not made for hitting, apparently. Um, and yeah. remind me, has Tunak been hurt since the last time I he got the healing from me? Like when I healed him my last turn? I haven't seen him get hurt since. I mean, you talking about uh, uh, Tunak? Tunak, yes. Who's next I mean, to me. He, he's still pretty bloody. Hmm. You know what? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a bonus action. I am gonna cast Healing Word on him. Ugh. So let's see how much you so get. You get six more hit points back. You are easily a better mm -hmm. healer than I was in our and, last campaign. <laughs> and I believe an extra temporary hit point. Hold on, let me double check because I don't. I'm not sure if they stack. So give they me a don't. Second. No, they don't. The temporary hit points do not stack. Oh, but you would have, would you have lost the one from before? Yeah. Would you? Okay, yeah, so then you do still. Oh, uh, I, I didn't take damage. Points. No, no, yeah. you didn't, started your turn, you so you would, you would got a, you got a hit point back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm so good. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, Zanara, okay, then you just, uh, wait, there's the Mastiff still, but like, it would just yeah. move after me. Yeah, just move with you. Uh, yeah, it has 40 feet, though. It might get a little ahead. Like you want to go all the way ahead? Just, just a little ahead, yeah, if it can. It has some more movement that I do. <sighs> and now that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Alright. Cool. Well, I'm going for my bonus action. I'm going to quickly cast Healing Word on the archer that's helping us, since I saw them take damage. Okay. Um, so they get Five hit points back. You got it. Um, and then I'm going to run up to um, Tunak as well. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try and like just touch his shoulder real quick, 
and I'm going to cast Fly on him. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm going to tell him, get on up there, big guy. <laughs> well, I know how to fly. <laughs> well, that's for you to find out on your turn, I guess. Oh, boy. Any happy um, little thought? I am lovely. And Wait, hold on. Turn. Hold on. What? You cast Healing Word on him? Not on Tunark. No. I cast no, Healing you... Word on the Archer. Yeah, it has a level spell, and the Fly is also a no level, sp level spell. I'm using my Vandor to cast Fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Also, it's, yeah, concentration. Yeah, I already added it. Alrighty. All right. Yeah, they miss. A natural one. So, uh, Sherelle, uh, as you see the one in front of you, load up and shoot. Um... I think you're, you do, so it's enough to shoot the other archer, the one that's been helping. It will take damage, and the second one, miss loads up on the arrow, so you get opportunity attack, because you roll on that one. Cool, I'll take it. Ugh, I don't take it, nine. Ah, oh, yeah, you miss. Jesus. So he takes 10 total damage. And uh, two arrows go missing. Because I'm rolling like crap too. Alright, Sorrel, you're up. Yep. Uh, angry that I missed on this opportunity attack. I'm going to flurry of blows this dude. And... Yep. Uh, 19 on the first one. That hits. At 7 damage. Yep. And second, 25 to hit. That hits. Eight damage. Nice. As you pop, pop. Nice. And as part of my drunken mass, uh, drunken technique, after I use a flurry of bows, I get blows. I gain the benefit of a disengage action, and my walking speed increases by 10 feet until the end of my current turn. So I'm going to pow, pow, whoa, and swagger over to the one that Raladan is not currently directly engaged with. Use my action to pop him once. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. Six damage. Nice. As you pop in the uh, side of the face, a couple teeth go flying. Ha <laughs> ha! A lot. All right. I am going to... Uh, throw two more cards. Got well, it. first I'll run up behind, Sh uh, behind Sherelle and Larisse. And then I'll throw the cards. So, a move in. Yep. And then I'll throw them both at the That's guy annoying. that Raladan is engaged with. Okay. Both so... of them at that one? Yep. Or you want to do uh, one at each? Uh, one at each. Okay. First one is a 10 that misses... misses. 21. 21 hits. Uh, that one was... Probably what, aiming at the other one that uh, Sorrel just went up to? Yeah. Alright, roll your damage. Okay. Seven force damage. Very nice. Uh, Sorrel, as you punch the teeth out, here comes this card right through the back of the head and out the mouth as the card. Can I try to catch the card? <laughs> They're spectral cards. Aww. Yeah. I try to catch the card and it disappears in my grasp. So I'm like, oh, that would have been a cool souvenir. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All right, uh, one of these guys left. 
This one's the one engaged with Roladan. He's going to make an attack. Oh, natural 18. For a total of 21. There we go. Uh, eight points of piercing damage to your roller Dan as he turned around and <laughs> right inside. You're up. Bastard. Oh, you people. That's what, he's, that's what she says as a chick. Who's up? You are. You are. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm gonna come right, and in two right back at you. Yep. Oh, my computer's being slow. Whammy. You got it. That hits for nine damage. Yeah, three health. How do you want to kill him? Kill her? I mean. Nice. So as as I go ahead and I, I stab her, I I. Kick her and say, this is the order. And she tumbles off the balcony. Nice. Splat. Yeah, that's the wrong choice of word. Uh, Tunak, you're up. Okay. Do I know how to fly? I will roll an intelligence check. Let's see. <laughs> so remember your 1d4? I also have a 1d4. All right, intelligence check. Healing. Your healing, I meant. No, that's not good. All right, you can role play to how you want to role play it. <laughs> sure, just kind of <laughs> almost levitating, I guess. You drool off into the but, ceiling. Okay. I, I will try to run, and I just imagine if I jump, I'll, like, just jump higher, but... Okay. I don't know what will happen after that. If I if it's like gravity, where I just start flying away, like do I just jump straight into something? What'd you say? I imagine that? this is like a like like if you just told me swim and I didn't know how to swim and I just jumped in the water. You're up flying and just kind of like sitting there like <laughs> ah um I think I have a I have a javelin some I have a javelin yeah you have one on the back of your mini at least yeah I will pull that out and throw it at uh are there any other ones still on that balcony by yeah. Raladin? Uh, nope. Uh, only other one or only the two left. There's two archers that are shooting each other. Okay. Well, I didn't see the one that turned on his allies, right? Uh, or did I see? Should have, but you know, okay. You have a four intelligence, so I will throw it at whichever one is closest to me. Then that is the one that was helping you guys. All right. <laughs> That's an 11, though. 11 misses. It goes right inside the wall. It's like, ha! Fuck this. And I'm just floating. Right. Oh, Larice. I also gained 1d4 hit points, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. I don't think you got hurt, so not Thank you, Larice. Right. Oh, and that's one. <laughs> right. Get one more hit point. It's, it's okay. It's, it's better than nothing. I am, I am above half now. <laughs> All right, Larice. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to. You know what? I'm not trying. To... I'm not going to try to move closer. I think I'm okay over here. I'm going to try to shoot again with the crossbow. See if this time I actually manage to hit anything. Right. Nope. No. No. <laughs> Um, just hold on. You're the thing because the person that was healing moved away. 
there's no might point. I'll take my bonus actions. Sorry. Alright. Is that your turn? Okay, yeah, that that will be my turn. I will stay where I am. Hold on. And the hound uh, tries to cl starts climbing up the stairs. Yeah, and that's the boss are going up the stairs. All right, so I has forty up. feet of movement, trying to go up. So, no, or Zanara, you see him just kind of like paddling in the air. <laughs> well, there went that plan. Uh, I can I see um, Raladan from where I am. Sure. Okay, can I tell if he is, uh, like, does he have blood all over him or anything? Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> you have to see a spear that came from underneath that it was in his shoulder. Maybe he th pulled it out. I don't know if he did or not. Well, I'll go ahead and cast Healing Word on him then from where I am. So you get five healing. Sorry. Five healing. And I'll just shout encouragement to do knock. <laughs> like just 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 reach out and grab the <laughs> grab the wall. Just 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 you <sighs> should have done it on somebody else. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, the other archer releases as it goes right by, the arrow goes right through the head of the other archer and drops down on the ground. Wait, the one that's working with us or not? Yeah, the one that's working with you. Uh, uh and turns to you guys. It says, let's at Zanari. My lady, howdy. The place Good is timing. yours. I'm going to leave now, unless you want to come with. Because mm. you're not going to be here next week too. This is the other way mm. out. Well, y'all think you can handle the twins without me? And I'll turn to the two that are closest to me. Sherelle's turn was next. Yeah. She takes a dart and throws it through this guy's head. Takes a dart? Yeah, monk weapon. <laughs> Alright, roll an attack. My bad. Thirteen to hit. That misses. It goes right over his head. He's like... I just helped y'all. You can have the have at. Wait, the... hold on, hold on. I thought you said the one that was helping us was dead. No, no, the one. No, the one. Oh, I thought you. Was okay, asking sorry, who killed I misunderstood. Who. I won't do that. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say it's like you're throwing a dart at the one that helped you. <laughs> I misunderstood. I'm sorry. You're pulling a two knock here. <laughs> I thought you asked which one killed the. I was like the one that was helping you. No, the one that died. Which one died okay. is what I asked. Oh. That's okay. Oh, okay. I thought you said which one killed the other person. Okay, got it. So she lets you, uh, Zanara, you can make a history check if you like. My thing will move. My screen is frozen. All right, we just go here. You said history. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah, I sent a DM to you on Zoom. Thought so. Yeah, I'll turn to um. 
Larice and Watt. Y'all think you can handle the twins without me? I've got another errand. That should work. I think we can... Now that we've taken out the guards, we should be able to handle two people by ourselves. You'll miss what right. might be the fun part. <laughs> but who am I to tell you? Not to go? Can Sherelle, can like, ourselves. lean over the balcony? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I just said we can handle ourselves. I was sending it there. Cheryl leans over the balcony and yells, Did she just call you a lady? Oh, I don't know. I guess, uh, um, yeah, I'm not really, I, I don't think I heard that. Whatever, we're getting your share if you leave. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can come back, though, before y'all are done. We'll see what happens, but. Sounds fair to me that we would take part of your cut. That's fine. If you're not here for the mind. entirety of it. Y'all can split it between the rest of y'all if I'm not back. And if I do come back later, y'all can split part of my share. I'll take a sixth of it or whatever. I don't really care. All right, whatever, my lady. And turn around Very and flip well. you off. <laughs> Thanks, Wait. Twinkle Toes. Wait. <laughs> do Brave us all warrior. a favor and don't die. Brave warrior, before you leave, what do I do? <laughs> how, long, how long does it last? Ten minutes if you're concentrating Ten on it? Ten minutes, yeah. Um, can you reach the balcony? Can you reach out and touch it? And I just try to air crawl, somersault my way to the balcony. Uh, I'll make another intelligence check. I don't oh, know. God. <laughs> Think it changed in last six seconds? Nine. You get a little bit further, but not quite to the balcony. So you can't even reach the edge oh. of it. Oh. For God's sake, I reach out my hand towards Tunak. <laughs> Come on, reach. <laughs> All right, you're able to grab and you can pull him in. And I drop concentration as soon as he's over the balcony. <laughs> you drop all, drop down. You don't take any points of damage, but you fall flat face on the ground. Whoa. I take two points of embarrassment damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, right. With that being... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, well, this has been fun. I'll see you in a few. And uh, thank you. Have fun with the twins. Give them a couple slices for me. All right. And I'm bug alive. Walk out the gate. With the archer, I guess, who's come down. All right, with that being said, uh, we'll pick up here next week. Um, it is 12.30, so I don't want to dive in some deep conversations and stuff and wait till next week. So uh, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Uh, uh, Nerd Hollow, when are you going to be live again? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, got it. I will be on duty tomorrow, so I will not be anywhere near any streams other than maybe hanging out in your chat or, or somebody's chat or something, maybe. But uh, I'll be on duty. So uh, next time we'll be live on our Twitch channel. All those links, everybody's links are down in the description for all the people players here. So make sure you go down and clip those. And remember, uh, uh, if you, depending on how many likes you get, that's how many dice you get. And our next uh, stretch goal is 450 subscribers and everybody gets a greater portion of healing. But anyway, that'll be the end of it. Uh, I still have his art. Uh, there we go. Boom. Now you can see uh, Dan's lovely face. So I had his art up because he wasn't here. All right. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good night, guys.